Hey guys, this is episode number 7 in Paper World Tutorials. In this episode we will look at effects and final looks you can use to enhance your animated story. With final looks and effects you can add so much more detail to your scenes in just a few simple steps. You can find these on project panel in uh, folder number 8 effects. So you can see here are four different compositions, effects, final looks, grain and vignette. And uh, to use any of these mm, we first need to uh, make a new composition uh, with our scene inside. So uh, don't add these uh, effect uh, compositions directly into your scene comp because that would mess up how scene settings affect your elements. So we will first take this uh, scene comp and drag this into new composition button here. And this will create a new comp. And we can now rename this. We will rename this um, according. So let's just add fx to scene name. And now we can start adding effects on top of our scene in this uh, newly created composition. So we will take a uh, final looks layer here and it's also uh, good if you make first a duplicate of this. Sure you can use this original as well but then if you make any changes into the settings inside and you want to use an original version uh, it affects uh, any scene you have used it. So best make a duplicate first, command D and now you have the original version there, if you want to go back to this later. So we will drag this uh, duplicate on top of our scene layer. And now I will turn on this uh, Collapse Transformations switch. And then this uh, layer will have effect over our scene layer. This is uh, very important to turn on this Collapse Transformations switch for Final Looks layer. And now you can see that it took effect and we can now open this final looks composition and make some changes because uh, by default all these looks are active. And for this scene we only want to use the first one, this dynamic final look. And I will turn off the rest of these uh, looks, three final looks I will just make invisible because this will make uh, rendering faster. Uh, and I can then change the opacity of this dynamic look I will use and when the controls layer is selected on effect controls panel. So I will change the opacity to 65. 65. So we don't need to change the rest because we don't use these. And now when we go back to our scene You can see that uh, this has more uh, contrast and uh, is more dynamic looking than the original. I will turn off this uh, final look so you can compare. So uh, an original scene looked a bit uh, more flat and we have more deeper colors when using this final looks over it. And we will also add uh, an effects layer here. Again, I will first make a duplicate, just in case I want to use the original later somewhere else or for many times and drag this on top of the other layers. And again, I will turn on this uh, Collapse Transformations uh, switch, then it will be affecting, the effects will come through to affect the layers uh, below this. And we can then open the composition and make some changes to the settings. And here uh, controls layer is um, as before, top layer. And you can now make uh, changes to opacities of different effects or blur strength here. Uh, and again, if you're using only a few of these for the scene, uh, turn off the eye icon 
the eye switch for the uh, layer because it will make rendering much faster. And for this, this scene we will use only particles and luminance. So I will turn off the, uh, the rest. And uh, for particles we will use a value of opacity of 30. And for luminance I will change this to 70. And now we'll, I will show you one more thing. For dust and particles layer, if you select uh, any of these two, you can see that there is a posterized time effect and effect controls panel. And this uh, is the value that uh, you can change uh, if you want to give a more st stop motion uh, looking style to your video. So uh, this will uh, make them uh, move slower if the value is smaller. So we will use here 10. Then the particles don't flash uh, so fast. It uh, renders in a lower frame rate. And the same uh, is there for dust layer. And we can now go back to the FX uh, comp. And after the preview has updated, you can see that there are some particles added here. Um, just a bit of them. And also there is even more, uh, the look is even more dynamic because we add this uh, another effect, luminance also. So this is how you add effects and final looks to your uh, scenes over your scene layer in FX Composition. And grain and vignette are added in the same way. So we could basically add these on top of here. And I'll show you one more sample with a, another scene, with this uh, forest scene. And we will drag this... Uh, uh, we will open this uh, forest scene uh, with effects, which is under Render Scenes. This one. Actually, I will rename it to FX because that's what it is here. So we have a forest scene inside, and there are added already final looks and vignette. So I'll show you how easy it is to change the scene look with just a few clicks. So we'll open this final look layer. And right now you can see only the first one is uh, in use here, but I will also turn on the soft color and gloomy black and white. Then we also have to raise the opacity of these layers on controls layer. So when this is selected, I'll turn soft color opacity to 100, gloomy black and white too. And now when we go back to the forest scene, so you can see how uh, it changed the look uh, just by using two more final looks on top of uh, the first one. And this is a really great way to give a uh, uh, continuous visual style in case you have many scenes in your animation or video. So you can also add this after you have sequenced uh, your scenes. So you can make your um, edit uh, to your scenes. For example, you have five to 10 scenes and then you can add these final looks or effects on top of uh, the whole story and animate the value. So, um, the visual style is continuous, but uh, can change a bit to, from one scene to another. So there are endless ways to use these. And if you have any questions, uh, send us an email and we will help you out with these. And uh, this was episode number seven. Next one will be about how to use transitions in your animation. And uh, Please also remember to subscribe in case you want to get notified when we add more tutorials to this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.